Good morning, lovelies. Leo nataka ni onyeshe kazi si na ase sufanya oku hizi. So let's go together. I'm going to take a bus and then I'll show you everything. So na leo kuna njere and then it's even darker outside. When I was waking up, because I wake up almost at the same time every day, I was like, it's still dark outside. Then I was like, as in, it's winter time, then it's summer time. So, it's like, it's like summer time, it's like it's like it's So, I was like, it's like it's like it's like it's Leo, sakama, Leo Sai means 7.45. That is just an example. And then winter ikifika, tunapeleka samba ene. So unapata sama, difference ya time ya Kenya na time ya Europe is two hours. And then in winter, what did I just say? <laughs> okay, difference ya summer time, katia Kenya na Austria. It's only one hour. And then in winter we have two hour difference. So even the village go. By the way, some years back they wanted to remove that. Your mom ya kurudisha saa mbele na kurudisha nyuma. Sijili fika wapi. So anyway, let me show you the bus stop. Where I'm taking my bus. Maybe ni wanyeshe plan. By the way, buses are huko wa zingoji mtu. Time yake ikifika ina stop ina chukua yenye wako kwa bus stop ikiendanga ukichelewa ni shida zako so that's why you should always come early so this is how the bus stop looks like kutoka kwa mbali kama kuna nyesha unaweza kaa huko chini and then there is even this dust in here. Your mana uku mostly na kwanga stuff. So this is the timetable. I'm gonna take bus 21. Someone on a time sake. 527, 520, 552. And then Saturday in a Sunday cake on the time sake. Before even a time yaki kifika in a enda. So let's wait. Let's see. In a fuck with your two side. My main job as an EED nurse is to measure the brain waves of the patients. So we have this machine here and the patients get this funny thing on their head. This just helps me to know where I should put the electrodes. And then we have these electrodes that come on the on the head, on the scalp. And just like the EKG, the ECG, electrocardiogram, we measure the waves and can see what the brain is doing. Like sometimes, even when the patients are falling asleep, I get to see it. We have lots of stroke patients. We have uh, epilepsy patients, patients who had uh, brain bleeding and brain tumor. So these are the kind of patients you get on a daily basis. At the moment, I work in the outpatient, but we also have a video monitoring where the patients get to be monitored for the whole week just to get a better examination. So the whole thing looks like. So this is the machine. 
EEG machine. This is a mobile one, but in the outpatient, we have one that is stationed on the wall, mounted on the wall. So this is the monitor where I get to see the brain waves. And then these are the electrodes that come from the head of the patient. And then we get to connect them with these wires. This is like a salt solution. So we just pour some of this here and let it sit for two or five minutes. And then we have this paste here. So we use this paste to rub on the scalp just so that we get uh, good waves. Yeah. So that's actually it. On a day, I get to write like very different six sometimes seven and then we have the intensive patients as well so sometimes i am in the neurology hospital but sometimes we get calls from the main hospital so we go to the intensive and write the eegs there let me I'm just gonna make a call for somebody to come and pick me up. Because I already finished my job and I need to go back to my hospital. Hello, to Mercy from Ege Labor. Ich hätte gerne jemand, der mich abholt, zurück ins CDK. Ich bin momentan im LKH. Genau, auf der Kilo gewesen warte ich. Okay. Wie lange dauert es ungefähr? Ah, super. Passt, danke. Ciao. So, now I'm outside. I'm just gonna wait for my driver to come and pick me up. So, working as a nurse in Austria, it doesn't just have to be working in a ward. You can work at, uh, with a doctor, private doctors, or general practitioner. You can work in the emergency room. You can work uh, in, the, in the wards, of course. Most of nurses do that. And then you can work in the, as an operation nurse or anesthesia nurse. I've worked as an anesthesia nurse before. I am an EEG nurse. And it's pretty much cool. You don't have lots of work to do. And you earn just as good as I was earning before. So it snowed again yesterday. It's kind of cold. So I just put on my jacket over my working clothes. And I'm going to wait for my taxi. We call them taxi. <laughs> so I'm going to wait for my driver to come and pick me up. Sometimes... I just come with a bicycle. We have uh, electrical bikes also. So you just go and borrow it from work. And But because today it's cold, so I'm just going to wait for my taxi to come and pick me up. And actually, we are even insured. So when anything happens to me when I'm on the streets, as long as I'm still at work, I'm 100% insured. Today I already showed you part of my job as a nurse in Austria and like I said before Kuna Vitumingi Mtonezafanya Places mingi different where you can work I've worked before in a ward I've worked in a nursing home I've worked in a opera room in a theater, like anesthesia nurse, and kila mahali unaenda, unapatanga una, una kona 
job different ya kufanya so depending on where you are tuseme ni vile nilikuwa kwa kwa world vile nilikuwa nafanya kazi kwa world tuseme morning ukikuja okay mko na hiyo discussion ya nurse sasa asubuhi mnaambiwa vile patients wamelala vile medications zilikuwa bla 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 kama mtu alikuwa na pain and all that from the night shift and then mnaenda kwa rooms mnaanza ku measure the vitals like blood pressure temperature then kutengeneza madawa kupatia patient dawa and then huku hivi pia tunasaidia watu like kuna wili wenye due to their sickness or due to old age they can't eat by themselves so unapata kazi kaa hizo it's also our duty as nurses to do them so we do them and then pia kuna wale hawezi kuoga peke yao so unapata nurses huku we take all those jobs so unafanya hizo and i think it's good because comparing to kenya like let's say sai what for it anybody is sick like your friend or your family member is sick even if they when they are in the hospital you still have to go and check after them muone kama amekula majakula there are some cases that in this care mtu yuko hosi but chakula naekewa hapo if they can't eat by themselves ni shida zako wanakuja wanatoa which i think is is so painful to me because huko tunafundishwa vitu kama hizo you do them because after all that is what you are paid for so you can't say okay mimi ni nurse mimi siwezi kufanya hii na hii ati mama ama baba huyu mtu ndio akuje afanye kama mtoto ama whatever you have to do that and then another thing uh here we keep records for patients records for 30 years so one of the most important work we have to do is patient records like you record everything kila kitu umefanya they teach us even in school if you don't record it then it's not done so let's say umepatia patient dawa if you don't record it that umepatia this kind of patient at what time dawa it means you didn't give them so every single thing however silly it looks hata kama umemsaidia kuoga umefanya nini you have to record everything because can you imagine tuseme sai I'm still young blah 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 and then in 30 years nataka kwenda pension alafu kuna tokia na mtu anaenda anaenda court anasema I had this and this injury because this and this nurse did to this or this so unajua they just go back open the records wanasema wana on 30 years earlier you didn't do this or you did this so you know if if you put if you keep the records it's always you are always safe I mean the law is of course checking everything also like leak pity things they won't look on that but you want to cover yourself too so let's say we para para kwa mkuja huku hivi if you are a nurse or a doctor I recommend every single thing you do always always keep the records na time pia so that's one of the important things And then sometimes unapata working in a nursing home pay even better than working in a hospital. Not always but depending on the nursing home or the hospital. Unaweza pata unalipwa better than wenye anafanya hosi because huko ukifanya kazi kuna kitu inaitwa yashwea ni still lag. Ni kama ile kama kuna kazi ngumu hiyo place una work. So kama kuna kazi ngumu Unapata hata per month unaweza kuwa unalipwa like 200 to 300 euros. Hiyo tu ni juu ya kazi ngumu. So hiyo ni pesa tu inaingia. So na nasikia watu wengine wanasema oh mnafanya kazi kwa nasi na sijui nini mimi siwezi nikafanya. But unalipa poa. So kawe ni mtu unajua what you are looking for or what you want in life you just do them. But wale watu wakukagua watu wakuchagua job endeleni kuchagua Alafu jobs kupata huku ni rahisi 
let's say you are already in Austria, come in. Even before I finished school, I applied for a job like six months before. Most of my colleagues, my student colleagues, they were already applying like one year before. And I was like, why are you guys in such a hurry? Because maybe I'm going to chill, I'm relax. Some of you, I'm going to talk to the second year, to the second year, and to the third year, I'm going to talk to jobs. I'm going to chill, chill. So by the time to me back in a half a year, it was like, I'm going to get a job. So I'm going to stress it, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job. So, I already knew what I wanted to do. So, I already knew what I wanted to do. For internet, obviously, I got it. So, I got like two applications. So, the two that I sent, by the next day, I already had a reply. And they wanted to talk with me. Uh, I was, when I got my application, it's not the same place where I used to stay. I like wanted to move in a different town. So we had a Zoom meeting to Kaungea with both uh, hospitals to Kaungea kwa Zoom. Then waka waka nila waka nambi ani kuje. Waka nipati appointment ni kapuja ni kaona. So immediately ni kapata these two positions. So I didn't even need to send a third or a fourth one. Because from the first two I sent, I already had the one that I wanted to do. So, okay, wa uko. Even if you don't have the working permit, let's say you become a student. You just send your application and then you tell them your situation. You tell them, Mimi, I only have a student visa and I'd like to work with you. If you people are willing to help me with the visa processing, you just you just tell them and then on like you red white red visa they help you with the process but like i said you have to stay with them for two years but after two years you are free to change your your position and most of them are too comfortable because the job is already good so people just stay I love to find a kazi for a nursing home. It's so much fun, by the way, you people, if you don't know. So, kazi mingi niyo asubui kuwaosha au waze na kuwapate chakula, which is not even that hard. But kuwaogesha, then mobilizing them, kuwatoa kwa bed, putting them on the wheelchair. Yetu ndo kazi. Watu kuivi kuna lift. We call them lift in German. I think it's lifters or something. So, unapata nikitu ya kuwa beba. So, kuna vile unamvalisha hivi. And then, unafinya tu ka button. Then it lifts the patients up. So, you use that to mobilize the patients. And then, unayeka kwa wheelchair. Or from the wheelchair back to the to the bed. Tunapata hadi nursing homes zingine, ziko na, ziko na bathtubs za kuwasha waze. In fact, there is a place where I did my practicals, inaitua Hoktiel. Ilikuwa pia ni ina specialized kwa neurological patients. That place was very nice. It was very nice. Do they have everything? And then unapata... Patients, they are always getting better. They are going home. Not all of them, but, small, but most of them. So it's even motivating to work there. Because you see your patients getting better and going home. And then that place is so expensive. Because I used to see many patients from Italy. Because you know, here we have our own insurance. And then in Italy, they are not insured to be, they are, they are not covered. Like the insurance is not covering them to stay in Austria. So, unapata, most of them walikuwa wale watu wakona accident. So unapata, even young 
most of them were really young people. Like when I was 18, 17, I was going to mountain climbing. And then when I was going to go to the damage is so huge. And uh, in Italy, what I heard from the hospital, in Italy they don't have like very good hospitals like we have in Austria or like the one we had in Hotel. So most of their patients were coming, even they had some. The head doctor there, I think, was Italian. So that's why he was recommending people from Italy to come to this hospital. And per day, you'd find that just for the bed, one night, one bed, it costs like 1,000 euros. You can do it with a doctor, and then the charges for the nurses, the food, everything, and that's and the patients were staying like at least one month to three months so i was like where do these people even get the money because the insurance is not covering anything if you if they were staying in austria or in germany they got something different because the insurance covers everything but from the from for the italians the insurance didn't cover so some people stay even for three months but uh, the Italy, what I hear is that they are so close, new, as in family keep together. And then while they were fundraising, so most of them were either fundraising or well wishers. And some people when you are talking about rich families, very rich families. They were even coming, you place to go to Naishi. See your dormitory, but you come rooms workers. I want to say when you a shule, then when I talk stay uko for I stayed there for six weeks. Nikifanya kazi uko. Nikifanya my practicals. So unapata uko pia dawa watu wa familia wa kutoka Italy who had their family in the hospital. They were staying staying in the same place. So now we kwa nalipia more than what we were paying. So, Nikapata Kungi and one of them, she was talking English. Nakanambia, as in Yepi Alquana, Kama, and a Fanyam to Kazi. So Nikanga and Ayakanambia, your family Alquana Fanya, Niwale and your courage, Pesas Yushida Kwao. So even if they stayed for three months, it wasn't a problem. So Yalquana Kuja, and Akuja now, then maybe over the weekend they go back, and then the next week they come back. So it's an evil. The story I just gave you today, it's just a, a little part of what's happened. There's just too much to talk about. So I'm going to call it a day for today. And then I'll be giving you more stories as the days are moving. All right. I hope you liked the video. I just show you just a, li a little bit part of what I do on my job and yeah hopefully I'll be able to show you more than that but due to patients privacy I can't show you like exactly how we work or kind of that thing so I hope you like the video please subscribe to my channel for more of such videos if you're already a subscriber and coming back Thank you so much. I'm glad you are doing that. And I'll see you on the next video. And as usual, now I'll water. Mwah.